What's going on, YouTube? And welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy, Kevin Forte. We are taking a look today at the latest on the Boston Bruins. Uh, there could be a real shakeup to the core this offseason as Patrice Bergeron is an unrestricted free agent. And at this point, there's no indication that he's staying. There's no indication that he's leaving either, which I guess is a little bit of optimism. But, um, you know, what happens in the world without Bergeron or with Bergeron? We're going to go over all of that because it does have an impact on some of the other guys in the organization. As some guys have contracts coming up soon and uh, Bergeron leaving could really close the window of the Boston Bruins. So we're going to go over that today. So this is from... Um, Fluto Shinzawa, I swear these people make up these names. Um, Patrice Bergeron says it's too early to decide on the future of his playing career. And that is very troubling. Um, you know, especially as a Bruins fan. Um, but I mean, they do have money to give. Not much, but their cap space is two million. Um, so right there, that is a little concerning. Then you put in the fact that David Pasternak, going into next season, will be an unrestricted free agent. Uh, he's a pending UFA. In the summer of 2023, his contract comes to an end. And for the Bruins, I mean, you lose Bergeron and Pasternak in back-to-back -back years. Uh, there's no coming back from that. So the Bruins have to decide, depending on what happens with Bergeron, this summer, do they consider trading Pasta now a year before free agency so they could get as much value as possible for him, you know, a year away from free agency. So that's really the main topic of today's video. So I'm from uh, Fluto Shinzawa. The Bruins will likely offer David Pasternak a max term extension this offseason. And I think that's a smart move. Uh, he's still 26 years old. He'll probably be 27 next year. Sign him to an eight-year deal. And that takes him till he's 35. And that's perfect. Uh, Pasternak has not had super big injury issues. So I wouldn't be that concerned about his health necessarily. But he, even if he does, he's, he's so talented, it's worth it. Um, and this is also, again, uh, recent reports have come out that the Boston Bruins could look to offer uh, a max term deal. Uh, if you were to offer Pasternak a contract, what would you offer him? I think that's a very interesting thought because with Pasternak, if you're giving him an eight-year deal, he's going to want a lot of money per season because that takes him all the way through his all the way through his prime. You're also talking about the next eight years of cap move, you know, the salary cap continuing to to go back up again. Um, I mean, what is what's the number look like? I mean, honestly, I would say it probably starts at nine and a half. Call me crazy for that, but I'm saying between nine and ten million dollars. I think Bergeron, uh, Pasternak will fall in that area. So, again, a lot of that's also going to depend on what happens with Bergeron, because with Bergeron, they also have the issue of, well, what are we going to do in terms of a, a duration and a deal, you know? Bergeron is 36, so it's like, do you give him a, what do you give him? Do you give him a two-year deal, a three-year deal? What are you really looking at? And I think, you know, a lot of that will come down to what Bergeron wants to do. He has a you know, young family. Uh, maybe he just wants to be done. I don't necessarily know. Um, but those are the kind of things that the Bruins have to consider. Again, Pasta is making $6.666 million per season. Um, which is the second highest on the team. Again, only behind Patrice Bergeron. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What do you think of the Boston Bruins here with Patrice Bergeron? And, you know, honestly, even David Pasternak, which goes into next season. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching, and let's go Bruins.